All right, so today we're going to be doing integration by parts of the integral x times radical x minus 1. Uh, bear with me while I go through this. So integration by parts, there's one basic rule we can follow to decide how we break it up. And there's a quick formula, so I'll give you the formula, which is the integral of u times dv equals u times v minus integral of v times du. Again, bear with me on my writing here. We'll figure this out as we go. So we've got two basic components, u and v. And integration by parts is breaking apart your integral so that you can take the two parts and set them to u and v. And how we decide which is which is a little thing called liate. So liate is logarithmic, inverse, algebraic, trig, and exponential. And so we can easily decide, based off this um, ranking system, I guess, which one would be first. So we have an x, and we have a radical x minus 1. And so based off Liate, we can say that x is an algebraic. Hmm. Where x is an algebraic, and our radical x minus 1 would be an exponential if we were to put it to x minus 1 to the 1 half. So we can set our x as our u in this situation, since our u comes first, and our radical x minus 1 is going to be our dv. And so then from dv, we would find v by taking the integral of both sides so that v is going to be equal to 2 thirds x minus 1 to the 3 halves. And so now we have our u and our v, and we can just plug those back into the formula. Um, as you can see in our formula here, we also have a du, but as you can see, our u is just x, and the derivative of x is just going to become 1. So it's not a big deal, but if our x was something larger, we would just take the derivative of that so we could plug it back into our equation. But if we plug everything back in, we get u, which is x, times our original, or times our v, which we found right here. So 2 over 3x minus 1 to the 3 halves minus our integral of v, which we just got, x minus 1 to the 3 halves times 1 again. And you don't need to put that in, but I'll put it in so you can see the format showing our formula from above. And so you're not done quite yet. But as you can see, this is getting us, oh, that's, I don't know what that was. As you can see, this is starting to break apart our integral here, and we have our first part. And now we just need to take this new integral that we have again and break it down even further. So as I was saying, we'll take this new equation that we just got from plugging it into our integration by parts equation, and we're going to now take the integral of this to get our final answer. So we can bring it down here, and we have 2 thirds x minus 1 to the 3 halves. And I'm just going to rewrite this as 2 thirds times x minus 1 to the 3 halves here. And now, simple, just take the integral of this, um, which our uh, our exponent rule for integration, we're going to get x minus 1 
to the 5 halves over 5 halves. And we've got our 2 thirds out front, can't forget that. Uh, so now we're just going to take the reciprocal of this and multiply across. And so we have 2 fifths times 2 thirds x minus 1 to the 5 halves. And so from there we get 4 fifteenths x minus 1 to the 5 halves. And now that we have our answer to that integral, we can plug it back into our original equation uh, from above right here, and we'll get our long answer via integration by parts. And we get x times 2x minus 1, 3 halves over 3 minus 4 fifteenths x, up. Oh, what is this? That was weird, sorry about that. x minus 1, 5 halves. And so this is our final answer here. Not entirely pretty, but you get the idea. That is integration by parts. And my name is Adam Beebe. Thank you.